What is going on YouTube? My name is Lucas and today we're going to be talking about two stocks that will be meshing and merging into one and that is going to be Torchlight and that is going to be Meta Materials. I'm beyond excited about both of these. I've been tracking this for a little bit and this is obviously going to be my first video. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of exactly what to expect from both and really a direction at which we're heading already in the future because many of you already are aware of the entire situation. So if you're interested in these two stocks, I suggest you stay tuned right after this. Before we start talking everything Torchlight and Meta Materials, I ask that you guys smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, comment down below, and now it's time to give you an update to dive into this video, and you guys know how I do it. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, I could not be more excited about providing you information on these two stocks, which will be merging into one, and it really is going to be an extremely, extremely impactful situation. I think that this is going to be a force to be reckoned with. I really do. I think that this is going to be a very significant transaction, and I'm excited to provide the information. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to really break it down very simple for you guys who are maybe not familiar with what is going on here. And then for the people who do know what is going on, I'm gonna really dive in and provide some updated information because some things have actually happened within the last couple weeks that I think are extremely significant. So let's just start diving in. We're gonna jump right out the gate. Torchlight Energy Resources Inc. currently trading on the NASDAQ, which is ticker symbol TRCH, an oil and gas exploration company, Torchlight and Metamaterial Inc., Metamaterial or Meta, which is uh, MMAT, a developer of high-performance functional materials and nanocomposite products, announced today the signing on December 14th. So this is actually from 2020, and this occurred then, but this is definitely you know, information that is extremely, extremely significant. It says, of a definitive agreement negotiated arm's length for a business combination of torchlight and metamaterial by the way of a statutory plan and arrangement. The transaction, upon completion of the transaction, shareholders of metamaterial are expected to hold an approximately 75% equity interest in the combined company, while Torchlight shareholders will retain an approximate 25% equity interest in the combined company. And so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this down just a little bit more, and it's going to be a little bit more understanding. So I found this chart, and I think it's extremely, extremely beneficial, as you guys can see right here and so it says before torchlight equals 115 million shares it says meta material has 85 million shares it says the merger timeline so it says the agreement was announced on december 14 2020 as we just heard in that article it says the agreement amended february 3rd of 2021 and then it says shareholder meeting and vote date march 12 2021 which is actually in a couple of days I think it's extremely significant because there's a lot of information we can expect to come from that. And then it says expected completion date is on March 19th, 2021. So this is what we can expect after that. It says Torchlight equals 115 million plus 345 million, which equals 460 million shares. And then Meta Material will have zero shares. So obviously that is the merger, that is the combination. It says, note, this is the best case used for the example. Additional shares are likely to be issued to pay for the merger transaction. Also, metamaterial shareholders have the option of converting on a one-to-one -one basis into torch shares prior to the execution date, which will be obviously alter the number of shares on both sides. So really, that is kind of a figurative number. Um, and so that could obviously fluctuate based on that inform information right there. It says torch shareholders will receive one share of new torch or 25%, which is 115 million divided by the 460 million. Or on the other hand, it says one share of torch preferred stock for a declaration and payment of the special dividend in cash or spinoff IPO of a new ONG asset holding company. So then metamaterial shareholders will receive 75% of new torch converted approximately as 345 million divided by 85 million 
or 4.05 shares of new torch or every one share of meta so i think that is extremely extremely beneficial and so this was definitely you know i think it's going to be very significant to see how this plays out and the information we have obtained on march 12th which is like i said right around the corner all right so now what i'm gonna do is really provide you two perspectives coming from both ceos and i think you're really going to see the excitement from both and the reason i say that is because meta is obviously getting the opportunity to then go on to a nasdaq which then really opens the doors for a lot of options and then obviously you're talking about torchlight who then is becoming more creative and getting to use the ingenuity and really the creative aspect that meta materials brings so you get to hear both of those excitement so let's dive right into it so right out the gate it talks about you know torchlight's obviously ceo and what he has to say he says we are very excited to sign a definitive agreement with meta material stated john bird a torchlight ceo we believe this transaction provides our shareholders with the best opportunity moving forward it says meta materials offers a proven disruptive technology with strong environmental social and governance priorities this transaction provides our shareholders with access to multi-billion dollar markets that meta materials serves i think that's extremely extremely important so then continuing on now this is george palacaris this is the ceo and president of meta and he says that he has built an extraordinary award-winning clean tech company whose proprietary advanced technologies address multiple markets and improve their customers capabilities and it continues to say that torchlight chairman is excited to work with Meta team and equally excited about the outcome for our faithful Torchlight shareholders. He says the NASDAQ is a world premier technology exchange, providing us with the best platform to expand awareness of Meta material on a global stage and fully realize the value of our portfolio, innovative, sustainable products. And I think that's extremely, extremely important as well. And that is coming from Meta Materials chairman. It has been our goal for Meta to be on the NASDAQ listed or to be a NASDAQ listed company, stated George Palacaris, president and CEO of Meta Material. When the business combination with Torchlight closes, obtaining a national exchange listing in the United States is anticipated to provide Meta with a significant value increase. And I think that's extremely, extremely significant. You're really kind of meshing two different perspectives. We obviously have Torchlight, who is on the major exchange, who has been doing some things, but it's getting a little bit old fashioned. Then you have Meta, who is really coming up, is a new, upcoming, very innovative, creative style of company. They bring a new flash, a new flair, and they're coming together and they're going to use each other for that aspect. I think that's significant and I think it's exciting because you can hear it, you can sense it in both of them. Now it's time to dive in and really hear about some of the new innovative creative things that meta material is obviously offering and this one is absolutely crazy and, and very very cool so here we go it says meta material a developer of high performance functional materials and non-composite today announced a collaboration with sikasu chemical to improve the performance and coverage of high level high speed 5g and future 6g networks I think that's absolutely amazing. Obviously, we're still building out and really developing the infrastructure when it comes to 5G. They're already talking about the future of 6G. This is absolutely incredible. It says, together, Meta and Sikazu are developing a new transparent, flexible radio wave reflecting film. It says, which passively reflects and transmits radio waves into a sub gigahertz and millimeter wave ranges. The transparent film can be applied anywhere without requiring connection to a power supply and without spoiling the surface's appearance to improve the communication environment. The general premises of high performance 5G is to create wire wireless mobile networks able to handle a far greater number of uh, simultaneous connections to greatly reduce, reduce network latency. And I think that's something that we experience now for those of us that aren't fully on 5G and I think where some of us are still lagging behind in a 4G setting. The more and more it seems like you get into a very heavy populated area, a very dense populated area, your your latency and your laggy time is really noticeable, especially from a cell phone standard. So I think the more and more we can become, you know, 5G and we really push and and become, you know, very well and in this i think that's going to be extremely extremely significant and it sounds crazy that they're already working on 6g 
Um, that's incredible. So let's continue on. It says, however, these high speed signals are highly directional, have reduced signal range and are easily blocked by objects in the environment, such as buildings and trees. Deploying large numbers of small cells in dense urban areas to fill dead spots in network coverage, including providing access to power and fiber optic backhaul infrastructure raises costs and creates challenges for wireless carriers. Meta and Sikasu are working towards developing a passive, more sustainable solution to cost effectively address this problem. And I think that's significant. I really do. I think that this is something that is going to have a major, major impact on these types of networks. It says Sikasu and Meta are working towards developing a solution to help wireless service providers deliver on the promise of 5G networks. Obviously, you have a ton of people that are really saying 5G is important. 5G is significant. It's doing amazing things. But if this if the network isn't really all that, then is the hype really worth it? No. So they're working on something together. They're combining on something together to really make this a significant improvement. And I think that's phenomenal. I really do. It says we are proud to work with a world class partner such as Sikazoo to help or to help develop and potentially deliver a practical solution which will simplify the deployment of 5G networks help to enable many new applications and improve the experience of everyday users, said George Palacaris, obviously the president and CEO of Meta. And so now what we're going to do is then dive right into another very, very fresh, hot off the press news release that I do believe actually just happened relatively soon. And so here we go again, another meta material thing. A uh, meta material, a developer of high performance functional materials and nanocomposites today announced that it is presenting an expanded range of products and technologies at Photonics West, March 6, 11, 2021, and new products will be added to the Meta online store. For smart eyewear, MetaFusion combines embedded AR slash VR functionality with precision cast prescription lenses for laboratory applications. Two new series of conventional and anomalous notch filters are being added to the Meta Optics. Holographics filter range, the Meta Air laser glare protection family is expanding to include applications for law enforcement and sensors. For application development, Nano Web transparent conductive film will be available with tailored mesh designs of optimized transparency haze and conductivity for each application. So absolutely significant advancement when it comes to glasses. Uh, I think this is incredible. Obviously, you're talking about AR and VR functionality, and you're taking it even further. It's incredible. It's incredible. To enable augmented reality as a wearable technology platform, the industry is still searching for the solution that is both functional and fashionable. And it says, while also meeting the needs of the majority of users who require corrective lenses, so Jonathan Walderin, Chief Technology Officer of Meta, with the assets and the IP we acquired uh, from Interglass, Meta is developing a vertical solution that will meet the challenge for head-mounted displays. Meta's platform technology is aimed at delivering breakthrough performance across a range of applications and industries, said George Palacaris, obviously the president and CEO of Meta. We are excited to showcase our capabilities at Photonics West and to make our solutions more accessible as we engage with a growing list of customers and partners. I think this is extremely significant as well because you're really seeing an advancement. You're really seeing what this company is capable of doing. And I think, like I said, the combination of Torchlight and Meta is going to have a major, major impact. I think once they really get the gears going, they get everything worked out. We obviously get the meeting that is supposed to be conducted on March 12th hashed out and everything is you know ready to go. I think you're really going to start to see some things happen for a positive reason. And obviously, this is a very positive catalyst. So these are the types of things you want to continue to see. And now we've come to my favorite time of any video, and that is chart breaking down time. So we're going to be checking out two charts, actually. So the first one, let's swing on over here and check out Meta Materials, which is currently trading as MMATF. And so today it opened at $2.86. It got as high as $3. Its low was $2.84. Volume is 79.04 thousand. Obviously the 52 week high is $3. Um, and then the 52 week low is $2.84. So it closed today at $2.90. That was up 
7.41%. This is a one day chart and as you guys can see, it really kind of stayed for the most part, it was pretty consistent. It had a decent spike here and there, but for the most part, it stayed pretty consistent. Now, obviously we're getting ready to you know, do the entire merger and so all that is going to happen. So I wanted to provide you with obviously Torchlight stock. And so now we're gonna swing on over here and check out Torch, which is gonna be TRCH, Torchlight Energy Resources. Today it opened at $2.28, it got as high as $2.44, its low was $2.10. Volume is 15.80 million, market cap is 315.9 million, 52 week high is $4.83, 52 week low is 21 cents and its average volume is 25.63 million. It closed today at $2.20, that was up 2.80%. And in the after hours to wrap out the day completely, we closed at $2.18, that was down 0.91%. This is a one day chart. And since this is on the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ was hit pretty, pretty hard today again. Um, and so really, we did not see a very positive direction. More or less, it was just heading in a downward direction with spikes in the upward direction here and there. But for the most part, it was just a down overall day. Um, you know, that's just when the things like the NASDAQ are going down and you are affiliated with the NASDAQ, there's a good chance that your stock is not going to be doing the greatest. I appreciate you guys swinging by and checking out this updated contented video on Torchlight and Meta Materials. I'm going to continue to provide information on this because I know a ton of people are interested in really what is going on with these two companies, with the merger, what we can expect moving forward, and really it's just an exciting thing so i do appreciate you swinging by and checking out this video i do want to remind you guys i am not a financial advisor and anything i say in this video is for pure entertainment purposes only and that's exactly what i'm here to do is entertain and you guys know how i do it if you like this video smash that like button it helps out tremendously and if you enjoy the content because i'm gonna keep the content flowing subscribe to my youtube channel and as always have a good day